This is the tutorial for color sensor. It will teach you how to identify the threshold value for a black color. We have a setup in front of us and the demo code is burnt in the Firebird 5. First, we take the color sensor and place it on the red color. Now, we will run the code. Red pulses are around 18,000 to 20,000. Green pulses are around 6,000 and blue pulses are around 6,000. So it determines that the color is red because the number of red pulses are more. Now we'll repeat the same procedure for the green color. The red pulses are around 10,000, green pulses are around 20 to 27,000 and blue pulses are around 8,000. So it clearly indicates that the color sensed is green because the number of green pulses are more. Now again we'll do the same procedure for the blue color. Number of red pulses are around 5800, green pulses around 5600, blue pulses around 9000. So this clearly indicates that the number of blue pulses received are more so the color has to be blue. Now let us consider the special case that is the black color. Just note down the readings, red around 3700, green around 2400 and blue around 2600. Red 37, green 2400, blue 2600. Now as you saw that the number of pulses received when the color sensor was projected to the black color was very 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 low. Now as we saw when the color sensor was exposed to the red color, the red value was very high. When the same sensor was exposed to the green color, the green value was very high. And when it was exposed to the blue color, the blue value was very high. But as we saw, when it was exposed to the black color, the black values were very low. Uh, from the current readings, we can say that all the values are less than 4000 when the sensor is projected on the black paper. Therefore, we choose 4000 as the threshold value. I hope now it's clear how to calculate the threshold value for the black color. Thank you for watching this tutorial.